testing. I feel like that's working. What's up awesome crew? I've just put the Sennheiser MKE on top of my camera and I'm gonna see how it goes. I think I need to have a listen so I know exactly what's going on. So we can actually plug this into the microphone. Testing, testing, testing. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Ellie Awesome here. Testing, testing, testing. Ellie Awesome here. There's definitely nothing at the back. Okay, testing. Oh, there is. Wait, test, test. What? That is so cool. So I'm in a big open room in a hotel room right now in Sydney. I probably won't be for this whole video, but you should check out the view. Testing, 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 testing. So this is Darling Harbour in Sydney, Australia. I'm actually just heading home from a work event and this is my last few hours in the hotel room, but I thought this might be a cool place to start off the test of the microphone. Do you want the hotel tour, do ya? Okay, wait, what's the time? Cause I gotta catch my flight soon. 9.30, ooh, okay. It's a nice room. I, I like the styling over here. We've got the corridor and then, oh jeez. This is the bathroom with the worst lighting of all time. As you can see, I can talk into the back of the microphone as well. And again, oh, this is amazing. So that's a pretty good test for you. I feel like though it's time to go outside and see where the real magic's at. I think I might go down there on that bridge. Going outside was a big mistake. It's freezing and windy. The bridge is back there. I couldn't make it. I don't have the dead cat on. But surprisingly, the audio is not terrible. But I'm going to put the windshield on to see if it makes a difference. How's that? Oh my gosh, it's so different. I wouldn't usually wear earphones, obviously, when I'm doing a vlog, but I really want to just hear the action while I'm recording so I know what's going on. That's great. This is with the windshield on and I'm narrating from behind the camera at the moment. And there's where I couldn't get to. There was my spot. I need to get out of the cold. This is ridiculous. Anyway, this sounds great. We're coming up to the hotel now that I was staying in. Here it is. The Hyatt Regency. Alright. I'm gonna book an Uber to the airport ASAP. Lots of people staring at me. Love that. <laughs> Alright. All right, here we are. Time to go home. All right, so I am back in my home studio or my office, and I thought this is a great chance to compare the MKE 400 with the MKE 200, which I have previously reviewed. Look at this thing, it's tiny and cute. It's basically a plug and play microphone. You can put it on top of the camera, plug it in, and it's good to go. It sounds great. I've fallen in love with it. It's so easy to use, and I have made a review on it if you wanna check that out in the description or on screen. When I heard about the MKE 400, I didn't see myself switching from this, to be honest, because I love microphones that are just easy to plug in and go. I don't really like worrying about having batteries in my mic because if the batteries happen to die or something goes wrong and my audio doesn't work, I will cry. A microphone that has no batteries, beautiful. But in this case, the MKE 400 is touted to have around 100 hours of battery life on just two triple A's, which I find incredible. So I guess that sort of takes the worry out of things. And not only that, it has the little light indicator on the side. Apparently that will glow red when you have three hours worth of battery left. And that's a substantial warning. So I suppose that's not really a big deal. In this case, I'm not too stressed about batteries, so they're somewhat equal. But what else is different? Well, the MKE 400 also has the headphone input for audio monitoring, which is super important. If you don't have a headphone input on your camera or your phone or whatever device you're using, so you can listen to the audio that you're recording, whether that's just quickly before you uh, set up your shot and then you take you know, your headphones out and you're talking to the camera like me, or whether you're behind the camera, it's just, you need to know how it sounds. And the fact that you can adjust the volume of the audio that you're monitoring on the side next to that input is just really handy as well. And with the battery power, you're also getting a three stage gain control and a low cut filter built in on the other side. So that's super handy. And the audio is a little better. Another major difference is this records audio from the front of the microphone. So I'd find myself flipping it around if I wanted to narrate from behind the camera and then flipping it back to pick up what's going on in front of me. This one's picking up audio from the front and the back, so you can just talk. Hello. Hi. What did you do? What did you do? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. So, I love... <laughs> Jeez, did you just lick my lens? Oh, hi. Where are you going? <laughs> I think she did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So good for interviews or vlogging. Here's the thing with the MKE 400 though, apparently the ideal distance is one to two meters away from the camera. So this is about one meter away in my messy studio. How does that sound to you? Like I'm in a room that probably has a little tiny bit of echo, but I think it sounds fantastic as a close up vlogging camera, but also there's your sort of far away distance test. I'll also switch it with my Sennheiser MKE 200 so you can see if there's a difference. Hey awesome people, Ellie Awesome here. I'm an Australian tech and lifestyle reviewer and this is the audio coming from the MKE 400. Hey awesome people, Ellie Awesome here, an Australian tech and lifestyle reviewer and right now the audio is coming from the MKE 200. Hey awesome people, Ellie Awesome here, an Australian tech and lifestyle reviewer and now you're hearing audio coming from the built-in microphone on my camera. Holding them in my hand by the way, I don't think the weight actually is, is majorly different. This one, it just feels like double of this and this is super lightweight, like it pretty much is, see? That is bright. I've challenged myself to just film in front of windows today and not set up any lights, but it's just, I mean, it's in shambles. Ugh. Now the blind won't go back down. What is this mess? What, what the heck? I'm done for. If I sit like this. <laughs> Fine, I'll hold the camera. My overall thoughts is that the MKE 400 is awesome. I don't know if this microphone is going to entirely replace the MKE 200 for me because I love it so much. The two biggest factors for me choosing this microphone would be whether you need the headphone jack input and the fact that you can talk from behind and in front of it. Okay, I have to add a third thing that I love about this microphone and that is the sound quality. Editing this video, I have noticed that it's some of the best uh, on-camera shotgun microphone audio I've had. And compared to the MKE 200, that is an excellent microphone, but it's definitely better. I think it sounds more professional and kind of impressive. So I think I will be upgrading to that for sure, just for that reason. But you gotta know that this microphone, the MKE 400, is quite expensive. It's around three to $400 in Australia. Usually it retails for $399, but I have seen it on sale for 300 or 350 so you might grab a bargain and the MKE 200 is around 150 bucks so it's a big step up but I do think it's worthwhile investing in your audio so if you were to go with the MKE 400 first you're basically ticking all the boxes because you're never going to be missing a feature it's great for vlogging it's great for interviews and it's just great for any kind of audio like I could even hold it I could even just you know use it <laughs> like this if I wanted to it, it's just excellent and the back is not as good, but you can't do this with the MKE 200 at all. It just sounds like entirely muted like that. So I'd highly recommend it. And if you're considering purchasing it, there's a link in the description for where to get it and some more info. And otherwise, subscribe for more, thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.